So it is um, officially Super Bowl week. The Chiefs have the chance to win their third Super Bowl in the last four years, I think. I could be wrong about that. But it's getting kind of an annual tradition in Kansas City, and it's great to see, especially through all the down years we've been through. It's kind of nice to be playing football this late every year. And it overlaps perfectly with college basketball. I mean, it's just, if you are a Kansas City resident, fan, supporter, in the year that we've had, it's just been great. But the main thing I want to talk about today, since I'm going to Arizona, actually, to watch the Super Bowl and waste management, is how to get resorts to hire you for a video. So the first thing you want to do when wanting to create videos for a resort is to first off just find a ton of resorts, make a list, gather contact info, phone numbers, emails, all of that good stuff. For example, I live in Kansas City and I wanted to get out last year and just escape to some warmer weather for 10 days. I didn't want to pay for my entire stay at an Airbnb and stuff throughout the entire week. So I decided to make a list of all the resorts in the Phoenix area and then start emailing, messaging, cold calling them as much as I can. It probably took 30 or 40 emails until I got my first reply even. And luckily that turned to be a yes. Um, and they ended up comping half my stay in Arizona and got me a really nice room, comping meals, all that good stuff. So it's also like a really good way to save money in this process while traveling, especially if you're a videographer and can produce really good stuff. But kind of back to the main reason is just making a list, cold emailing, cold calling, cold messaging, as many as you can find and sending in your portfolio, website, reel, whatever you have, you just want to send them some links to watch their stuff. If you don't have any of that stuff, then maybe contact local hotels or resorts in your area and start you know just making free content for them um, until you have enough to build up that type of portfolio to send to actual resorts so step number two and kind of 1b i guess um would be while you're you know cold emailing cold messaging cold calling whatever the case may be provide some sort of value like my niche is kind of vertical creation seeing it from from beginning to end from the curation process to the publishing point and being able to hop on trends quickly and all that good stuff at a high quality level. So what I would recommend is while you are sending these messages or whatever, just be able to provide a sense of value to them. Along with this, if you want to go a step further is make them a pitch deck. I'm just kind of encompassing all the brands you've worked with, the experience you have, kind of your vision for that specific resort, or you can just make a general one and then tailor it maybe to them a little bit. This is one that I made for Royal Palms Resort and Spa in Arizona. That's the one that hired me. And I made this after uh, I worked with them. That way I could send it to other resorts to potentially get more clients down the road. But yeah, just something simple like this that has links to all your work, kind of your strategy behind things, your thought process. It makes people just, it makes them see all of the stuff that you are good at in one spot and they don't have to click a ton of links and stuff as well. So this is another option. And plus like if you want to get paid for it and comped for your stay, I definitely go a step further and make a pitch deck like this. The last and final step is when you do get these opportunities, and you do get a yes or whatever the case may be, go a step further, you know? I created a ton of personal content for my own feeds. I did a room tour on my own accounts. I created a ton of vertical trends for my own accounts and published them, collabed with them on Instagram. I tagged them in all my stories. I posted like a ton of high quality clips on my story, drone shots, all that stuff, tagged them in everything. And one thing that I didn't do that I wish I would have done is make a contract where like you need to publish X amount of videos and tag me or whatever the case may be. But I mean, they were already copying my stay and all that stuff, but I would just mainly just recommend going a step further if you do get the opportunity because who knows when you're going to be going to the next resort or next hotel or whatever the case may be. Get as much as you can during your stay. That way you don't run out of stuff to show off your skills in the future to other potential resorts, hotels, clubs, whatever niche in the travel industry you wanna get into. In total, it's pretty much just one, cold emailing, cold messaging, cold calling, as many as you can get. Like I said, I went through 30 to 40 until I got my first reply. That ended up being a yes, thankfully. She was the director of marketing was actually from Kansas City, so shout out to Kimberly. But anyways, that would be the first step. Uh, second step, 
I'd recommend providing some sense of value and kind of niching down and it helps if they're not already doing it. So like they hadn't posted any vertical content or any really high quality videos from you know, a cinema camera. They have hired a ton of influencers and stuff like that, but finding the resorts that don't have you know a lot of videos on their feed or whatever the case may be and just being able to provide a sense of value. And then on top of this, I'd recommend making a pitch deck if you do get a few replies and stuff like that and go a step further in that process. Make them feel like you know the vision and stuff that you wanna go with and strategy behind things. It's just a lot more effective at getting things done, especially if they're hesitant about signing on with you. And then finally, go the extra mile. Create iPhone content, tour content, drone content, tag them in all the stories, do a feed post, collab with them. You're not an influencer by any means. You're there to create high quality videos for them and be kind of a videographer. Showing them that you want to be there and showing them your appreciation and just going the extra mile just to get more eyeballs on their feed definitely helps out. These would be the three main things that I'd recommend. I'm going to make an entire another video on how I use Notion with my clients and resorts and clubs and golf courses and all that good stuff. So let me know if you have any questions regarding that or like more of the management side of things. But be on the lookout for that. These would be the three main things that I would recommend when trying to get hired by resorts for video work. With that being said, let's go Chiefs. Time to go to Arizona, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.